In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on ellipse. All right, here we are. We've got a question which reads like this. It says, find the equation of the ellipse with major axis along the x-axis and passing through the points 4,3 and minus 1,4. So the major data that we've got here is major axis along the x-axis, which says that the equation of the ellipse that we're looking for is of the form x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1. All right. Now that it's passing through the points 4,3 and minus 1,4, let us substitute these points in this equation. So substituting the point 4,3 in this equation, we get uh, 4 square by a square, which is 16 by a square, plus 3 square by b square, which is 9 by b square equal to 1. And let this be equation 1. And then let's substitute this point. Substituting minus 1,4 in this, we get 1 divided by a square plus 16 divided by b square equal to 1. Let's call this equation 2. So now all that we have to do to get the equation of the ellipse is find the values of a and b, right? Now here we do not have the value of a and b, so we cannot find it directly. You know, we have to solve these equations and then find the values of a and b. And we just have to substitute in them right back in this equation to get the equation of the ellipse in question. So let's solve this equation now. So now considering this equation, let us try and eliminate a square or b square and then find out the value of the one that is left. So let's, to start off with, eliminate the value of b square. So we first have to, you know, subtract it. But before subtracting to eliminate b square, we have to make them equal. So let's substitute this equation by 16. Let's substitute this equation by 9 because those are the coefficients of b square respectively. So 16 times 1 gives you 16. 16 times 9 gives you 144. 16 times 9 by b square gives you 144 by b square. We take the plus 16 times 16 gives you 256 divided by a square. Uh, I mean 16 times 16 by a square gives you 2, 256 by a square. And then coming back to the equation 2, we have 9 times 1 gives you 9. And 9 times 16 by b square gives you 144 by b square again. And 9 times 1 by a, a square gives you 9 by a square. So there's a plus again. So what we have to do is subtract the subtract this equation from this so let's change the signs so uh, 144 by b square and 144 by b square gets cancelled we are left out with 256 by a square minus 9 by a square so since the de denominators are equal we can straight away sub uh, subtract the numerators 256 minus 9 gives you a 247 and the denominator will still be a square so this is 0, so that will be straight away equal to 16 minus 9, which is equal to 7. So now we have 247 by a square equal to 7. 247 divided by a square equal to 7. Or a square equals 247 divided by 7. So we found the value of a square. That's half done. Now let's go ahead and find the value of b square. So let's say let's use the same equations here. Let me write down these equations for you, which is 16 by a square plus 9 by b square equals 1 and 1 by a square plus 16 by b square equals 1. Now, just as we eliminated b square, let us eliminate a square this time. So to eliminate a square, we need to equate them. So substitute the coefficients in the opposite equations. So substitute the equation 1 by just 1 and multiply the this equation by 16. So 1 times 1 gives you 1, 1 times 9 by b square gives you 9 by b square, 1 times 16 by a square gives you 16 by a square. 16 times 1 gives you 16, 16 times 16 by b square gives you 256 by b square, and 16 times 1 by a square gives you 16 by a square. So now we can subtract this, change the signs, and 16a square and 16a square gets cancelled. We are left with 9 by b square minus 256 by b square. So 256 minus 9, you get 247. So it'll be minus 247 divided by b squared equals 1 minus 16 is a minus 15. So minus minus gets cancelled. We have b squared as 247 divided by 15. So what we've done at the end of this is we found the values of a squared and b squared. All that we have to do now to find the equation of the ellipse in question is just substitute the values of a squared and b squared in this equation here. So let's see what we get. So once we substitute a square and b square in this, we get x square divided by 247 by 7 plus y square divided by 247 by 15 
equal to 1. Or this can also be written as, you know, multiplying the entire equation by 247, we will get 7x squared plus 15y squared equal to 247. If you divide the entire equation by 247, you will come back to this one. So the required equation is 7x squared plus 15y squared equal to 247, all right? So that ends this problem. It was not as straightforward as you would have liked, I guess, but it was not a very complex one either. So what you have to do is first identify which form it is. It was easy because of the given data. They said major axis was along the x-axis. So this is the only equation. And then it was passing through these points. So immediately substitute the values of x and y in this equation. You know, then solve for a squared and b squared, then substitute back in this and you have the equation. All right. So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on more curves.